The UK's brilliant spell of warm weather is over. It's miserable outside, but a perfect day to fix up the studio. So it's kind of a good thing the weather is a bit like this. I was riding myself into an absolute hole over the last few days. One of the biggest problems with making these videos is riding too much. Because I keep saying yes to opportunities to film cool stuff, but then often that ends up being a really long ride into London or however many k's in the other direction. It's just tough recovering sometimes. Anyway, it looks like it's gonna be like this for the next few days, so time to eat sweets and recover. You all right? All right, mate. Have I got chocolate on my face? No, I... <laughs> If you have, I'll, I'll edit it out in post. <laughs> You're nailing it around here. Well, I didn't know. I was meant to do four hours, but then it's like, it might rain, it might not. Exactly. So I'm just staying 10k away from home and just, <laughs> just, in case. I'm just gonna go forever, yeah. <laughs> what do you think of the park being half open, but not really open? I can't even do my ballet loops, man. What, they're closed? So part of the road is Yeah, so not Robin open. Head to Hampton's closed. Yeah. Can't, can't do my ballet loops, mate. Hello. This is a place to be, <laughs> apparently. So as you can, you, know, you probably can't see it behind me. The gates here are manned uh, because Richmond Park is open again, but only open before 10 o'clock in the morning and after 4 p.m. in the afternoon. So it's like for commuters, although you can come in and just use it for not commuting. Still no cars ever. So it's really, really nice, but it's a bit of a pain in the ass having to leave early. I don't know how much difference it would make if they just opened it all day, right? How many acres is the park? Too many. Is there not enough space for you? Do people really need to walk on the road? Bottom. Police. Uh, cheers. <laughs> Police at the bottom. Your people are hurt. Do they? For what? Speeding down there. Because it's so easy to speed. Like Jake, Jake got charged so much. 20 mile an hour speed limit. Anyway, park's open again. So if you live in London and you want to spin in here, make sure you come early or late. Fingers crossed things will be changing and we'll be able to ride all day in here soon. Because riding round is, that's a shit road. Like I said, I'm using today as an opportunity to sort out the studio, organize it a little bit better. Viewers of yesterday's video will know what's in this box. And I've probably used it as clickbait. I've got one of these at home, but I thought I'd buy one for here as well, because it's my most used thing ever. I'm sure there's a million different brands, but this is USB splitter. Turns a normal plug socket into six USBs. For charging bike lights and stuff like that, best thing ever. Boring, Velcro. I was jealous of Dan's tripod a few days ago, so Pete designed one. It's probably slightly better than the 12 quid Amazon Basics one that I've been using. Carbon fiber tripod, because why not? A present from Red Bull. Now long, 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 long term viewers of the channel may remember this face. This is James Golding. I did an interview with him three years ago. He's a massively inspirational dude, uh, survived cancer twice, got hit by a truck, came through it all, took the seven day record in cycling, and then uh, has proceeded to tackle more and more extreme events. The Way of the Wild Card is his latest movie. He's done it with Red Bull and it's free to watch online, so you should check that out. I'll put a link in the description down below and hopefully I can catch up with him for a ride soon. TV stick, TV stick. Now the moment you have all been waiting for. This wheel set costs 7,000 pounds. 7,319 pounds. 9,333 US dollars. Quick intermission. Future Francis here. I may have got the prices wrong. Because the wheels I've got here are a weird mismatched set. The front one's like a 63, the back one's an 85. I don't know if that price is right. They're definitely close to 7,000 pounds. They're not the Evo versions, which are even more expensive, but they're expensive, you get the idea. Why are they so expensive? Now disclaimer, this is not an advert for lightweight. They didn't send me these wheels, pay me anything. They were sent to the shop upstairs as demo wheels, but not really demo wheels because we're not allowed to ride them. So I don't know how I can test them. I'm pretty sure they wouldn't like it if we tested how many PSI they can take if we keep pumping up a tire. Now the rim depth is 85 millimeters, so they're super, super deep. I don't even know if that's UCI legal on the road at the moment. I know they changed the rules a while back because one year we were able to use 80 mil and then the next year we weren't. Uh, but things might have changed, it's been a few years since then. Because they are quite deep, they're not actually that lightweight, even though they're called lightweight. The claimed weight is 1,765 grams. I mean, they still feel super light when you pick them up and the construction is really impressive. All of the spokes are like bonded directly into the rim, 
probably not the most practical thing if you break a spoke. I guess the whole thing's pretty much knackered and you have to send it back to them. I mean, they're a wheel made for TTs and triathlon, I think, more than road racing. There's no denying that it's a pretty badass bit of kit, but I mean, seven grand. Is it worth it? Most important test, how does the hub sound? Anyway, cool wheels, shame we can't ride them. Anyone got a pair? Put it in the comments, let us know how they are. Now I can finally finish my overhead camera setup. Regular viewers will know I've been uh, working on this for a while. Camera goes up here, but it's a little bit dark. I always forget to bring food when it comes to the studio. But you lovely viewers, send me a lot of sweets. You don't like Ginger sweets, they must be healthy. Good for your immune system. Anti COVID sweets. How's it going, buddy? Sorry, the room's a bit of a mess. It's alright, you've I've been trying out. to organise it, but the opposite has happened. What's this, Francis? That's my lunch. <laughs> Ginger. Yeah, mm. it's, like, it's like healthy. Delicious. Mm. I rode up north and it took a lot, very long time. I still don't know how you did 500k, man. 350 rides is quite a long way. We did do it around a real smooth circle. Yeah, I mean, I did do quite a lot of, I did like 6,000 meters of climbing. Yeah, there you go. And I did it on my own. Yeah. And I had some bike luggage. There you but go. But still, 500k, man. 9,000 pounds or something? 7,000 quid, I think. Which is over $9,000. We're not allowed to ride them. Look, why is the uh, lightweight not over the middle of the valve? You can't really read it. It looks yeah, langs from that aguaya. Yeah. Is that a Japanese dog? Wet. Weekly shot, my favourite activity. Best thing ever though. You have to go in. It's not my turn. Just got a sick new t-shirt from Fusion Media. Thank you very much for sending that. It's the PR guys that I work with. Not only are they a nice PR company, but they also do a lot for cycling, to boost cycling and uh, get more people riding bikes, which is wicked. What, what is Adam? Guy who runs it. Bicycle mayor of, mayor of, bicycle mayor of Coventry? Cambridge. Bicycle mayor of somewhere. Wild daisies in the shop. Quick update about my experiment getting up at 5 a.m. every day, which I started about six weeks ago, and I have not given you an update about yet. I've probably done 95% of mornings waking up bang on 5 a.m. A couple of times I overslept uh, and managed to turn my alarm off in my sleep. Some days I've woken up with Daisy when she's been up for work, which has been a tiny bit later as well, so 5.30. But on the whole, that's like two or three hours earlier than I usually would. And yeah, there's been a host of different benefits. One, my brain works a lot better first thing in the morning. So my edit time for these videos, I've been saving them for the morning, smashing them out, and I'm not gonna say I've cut my edit time in half, but I've definitely got quicker at doing it. Benefit number two, those hours I'm awake in the morning are more productive generally. So instead of sitting around watching a movie, which is I guess what me and most people would do later in the evenings, you just wouldn't do that in the morning. So it's, it's being spent on work, and then later on in the day, I've already got stuff done so then I can spend it with Daisy and chill out which is really nice. Three, see more sunrises, always a good thing. There obviously wasn't one this morning because the weather is shit. Downsides, has there been any downsides? Uh, I've been a little bit tired in the day sometimes especially when I started riding a little bit more the second week I was into the experiment. You do need to go to bed a little bit earlier so I've been conking out about 9.30 on the sofa sometimes. Usually I'll make it till around 10 uh, but it depends on the riding that I've done that day and maybe the day before. So you do have to factor in, if you're a cyclist, trying to factor that in, just get a few more hours if you're gonna try this yourself. Would I recommend it? Absolutely. Uh, you're not gonna do yourself any harm other than maybe feeling a little bit tired, but the benefits you could unlock are totally worth it. So have an experiment, let me know in the comments. I know a lot of you already wake up at 5 a.m. So tell us what you think of the benefits. I think it's especially relevant to cyclists because the roads in the morning are way quieter. So if getting a nice uninterrupted traffic free ride is your priority, you're definitely more likely to get it if you're waking up earlier. I don't know how I spend so much money. I spent 80 pounds. <laughs> Chocolate we cereal. Chocolate cereal. More Family chocolate pack cereal. lasts four days. We need to learn how to budget. Like, how do we be adults and budget a week shop? Because we spend about eight pounds every week. So if you want to support us on Patreon, uh, link down below. Should I open up my own Patreon? <laughs> Selling nudes. We can't put this in. Yeah.